Welcome to the inaugural episode of With Them. What's in it for my money? I am Andre Gordon. If you would be so inclined, if you could smash that like button at the bottom of the video and that subscriber button that's in the bottom left corner of the video, I would greatly appreciate it and you can become a part of the family and get regular content updates. I also appreciate any feedback and comments as well. Have you been in a situation where you tune into the numerous financial shows that are on the air and much of the financial news is communicated only in the way for a seasoned professional to understand? I know I've been in that situation. This leaves many people left out of the conversation because the information is not only difficult to understand, let alone interpret for your own personal financial situation. The goal for this channel is to take that same financial slash economic information and communicate it in a way that allows for you to interpret and understand it and use for your own personal situation. Let's get started with today's subject, the Federal Reserve, or otherwise known as the Fed. The Fed has been in the news a lot lately during this pandemic, and it's important for you to understand their role and how it impacts your money. First, a little history about the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve was created by Congress in 1913 as a part of the Federal Reserve Act. This occurred after the financial crisis of 1907, but before the Great Depression that happened in 1929. And the goal of this act was to provide the nation with a safer, more stable economic and financial monetary system. The Federal Reserve Act states that the Board of Governors and the FOMC should conduct monetary policy as to promote maximum employment, stable prices, and moderate long-term interest rates for the U.S. economy. This 1913 statutory mandate ties monetary policy to the broader goal of fostering a productive and stable United States economy. This statutory mandate is further achieved when most people looking for work are gainfully employed and when prices for goods and services are relatively stable. Stable prices for goods and services contribute to three important economic outcomes. Maximum sustainable economic growth, maximum sustainable employment, and moderate long-term interest rates for the United States economy. The Federal Reserve is the central bank of the United States, and it performs five key functions for the overall effective operation of the United States economy and the public interest. I will discuss each one of the five general functions of the Federal Reserve in each subsequent episode. The first function I will discuss in this episode is conducting the nation's monetary policy to promote maximum sustainable employment, stable pricing, and moderate long-term interest rates for the United States economy. The Fed conducts the nation's monetary policy by managing the level of short and long-term interest rates and influencing the cost and availability of credit in the economy. This monetary policy directly influences interest rates, but it also indirectly affects stock prices, wealth, and currency exchange Through rates. Through these channels, monetary policy directly influences spending, investment, production, employment, and inflation in the United States. Effective monetary policy, which the Fed is in charge of, complements fiscal policy, which Congress sets forth to support economic growth. Okay, let's take a pause. What is the WIFM and how the Fed influences interest rates and how does that compare to your own situation? Analogy that I would use is the thermostat in your home. Let's compare the thermostat in the way that the Fed monitors and manages the level of interest rates. If your home is too hot, you will use the thermostat to cool it down. If the opposite is true and your home is too cold, you will use the thermostat to heat it up. The Fed does the exact same thing with interest rates and monitoring the economy. If the economy is overheating, they will adjust interest rates accordingly to cool it down, i.e. lower interest rates. If the economy is slowing down or moving toward cooling off, they will adjust interest rates accordingly, i.e. raise interest rates to help spur economic growth and heat the economy back up. Just take a look at how the Fed has managed the level of interest rates during this pandemic. One function that they have done is lower the interest rates to historic lows in order to spark the economy out of this pandemic and stimulate economic recovery. Hopefully now you have a little bit more understanding in terms of the overview of the Fed and one of their primary functions in terms of managing the level of interest rates. 
as you see the Fed move and is in the news over the next several weeks, you may have a little bit more understanding and interpretation of how their actions affect your money. Coming into the next episode of We're From Where, we will examine the second of five general functions of the Federal Reserve. To hit the like button and the subscriber button to become a part of the family. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Wiffle.